Hello everyone, welcome back to more Magic the Gathering. I'm going to play Quick Draft Trickshaven. This is an unusual morning recording session. I fell asleep pretty early last night, and here I am up before work. So I imagine my voice sounds a bit messed up. That's why I haven't been awake very long. Yeah, I can, I can feel it, man. Okay, well, it's still me, I promise. Anyway, we're going to dive into Quick Draft Trickshaven here and try for a fourth respectable run in a row. That's all I ask. I don't ask for 7-0. I just want to be respectable. The Planeswalker, those are usually good. Six mass, uh, mana, Professor Onyx, double black. Five loyalty. Whenever you cast a copy of Instant or Sorcery, each one loses two life and you gain two life. That seems strong. Wants to be in uh, black green, by the way. The plus is you lose one life. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one in your hand and the rest in the graveyard, okay? So it's draw one with scry three, and also uh, helps with the graveyard synergy that you might have. Does black green have graveyard synergy? Is, is that more of a... Uh, maybe. There's a couple graveyard cards in black green, I guess. Oh, look at that. There's even um, mortality spear in this pack as well. I don't expect that to make it back around. Um, might actually be the second pick in this pack, even if I take this, which I assume I will. Uh, minus three. Each, opponent's, each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. Seems cool. Minus eight. You can either disc each opponent can either discard a card or lose three life, and you do that a total of seven times. I mean, obviously the minus eights are generally like <laughs> the ultimates on Planeswalkers are really strong. You don't get to them very often. Okay, I mean, I assume we're taking this. It's Liliana, by the way, the uh, the Hogwarts-themed Liliana... Is her name Liliana Voss? Liliana Voss? What is, what is her name? MPG Liliana... Um, last name? Planeswalker? Vess. Liliana Vess, okay. So I think we're taking this. Let's just look up how insanely great it is in the, uh... Third best in the set is what this draft, uh, pick suggests. So very, very strong. The best Planeswalker printed. Uh, okay, we'll take it. New job, new life, new opportunities. Cute. Um, Kelpie Guide, I think, is pretty decent. It's more of a blue-green, but, you know, we, we, aren't, <clears throat> we aren't married to black. Um, this is a really nice card, but if we end up, you know... What, what is there in black in this set? There's, like, you know, Arrogant Poet is fine. I don't think I really should be trying to force black for this one card. Um, I should keep my options open, and you know, blue blue black is not really a thing. <coughs> Excuse me, a thing in this set, but you could play it anyway. Um, essence infusion is a—it's not even a combat trick; it's a sorcery, but it gives you counters. Okay. Spectre of the Fens. It's a big creature, I don't really want it. Practical Research might actually be the best card here. Frost Trickster? Nah. Well, I think it's probably Kelpie Guide, actually. How, how good is Kelpie Guide? Pretty good. Wormhole Serpent is playable. And Arrogant Poet is like, okay. Yeah. I mean, unless I wanted to do something truly crazy, like take Archway Commons, planning to, like, 
play all the colors. Like, I don't think that makes sense. I think I'm just going to take Kelpie Guide. We might not end up getting black. Um, we'll see. We could even maybe splash for this in some other deck. I didn't even look up how good Practical Research was. I don't think it was as good as... Yeah, Kelpie Guide was better. You know, blue-green has a fair amount of fixing. You could just try to play this in blue-green. Could happen. Opt, Symmetry Sage. Owlin Shield Mage, I think, is pretty okay. Fractal Summoning is an okay uh, lesson. We could run Silver Quill Campus if we were thinking about black white or about some just heavily multicolor thing. I mean, what is the best card in this pack? I think it's the Shield Mage. Or maybe Opt. Opt is actually ranked not very good. Ah, typing wrong. Symmetry Sage, not that good either. I don't think Curate is that great. Yeah, pretty bad. I'm not going to take Historian. Like, it's, it's okay in a red aggro deck, but those are hard to make. Oh, especially red-white, but... Don't really want that. This creature is just not that impressive. I think it's either Shield Mage, Fractal Sum... Well, actually, Cram Session is playable in black or green. Um, how are the campuses? They're, like, tolerable, I think. Ranked is, like, playable if you want to play that. And what about the Shield Mage? Ranked better than all the campuses. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll pick this. We'll see where it goes. Don't want the Stadium, I don't think. It's pretty bad, right? No, it's actually pretty decent. Hmm, interesting. more of like an aggro kind of thing, but it's also like ramp, I guess. So it could go either way. I don't know. Is it aggro? Like, I don't totally understand the win condition part of this. Like, I guess it's for if they're hitting you with a ton of tiny creatures. But like, if, if, if you're hitting them, rather, with a ton of tiny creatures... But, like, if you can hit them ten times, haven't you kind of won the game already? Like, okay, if you hit them exclusively with 1-1s, one they're now only half dead. But I guess you also get a point, like, every turn from tapping this. So maybe this does shorten the clock. Honor Troll fits into black-green. I should be paying more attention to what has happened so far. Like, I, there's not much blue in this pack. Was there much blue in the last pack? I don't think so. I think blue is, like, a little bit less promising right now. I don't know what kind of messages I've been sending Lefty either. My brain is not totally on right now. Um, elocution was good, but I think we kind of just had, like, the right deck for it. A bunch of flyers... And this seemed to wheel a lot, but I guess that might just be because no one was playing black-white. Um, <clears throat> I think we can take either the Groff or just this, like, Hunt for Specimens. And I'd rather take Hunt for Specimens. I don't know. I guess maybe I'm supposed to take the Stadium. Like, it, it's playable in any deck, I guess. It actually says Hunt for Specimens is a better card. And it fits our colors. Okay. Yeah, Righty seems to be playing some blue, probably. 
We haven't seen any blue-red cards yet. Maybe Righty's been taking them. There's this, like, blue-green, but... What is this? Tenured Ink Caster. Five mana, 2-2. Two, two. Pretty expensive. Puts counters on things. And it likes things to have counters. And it gives you life gain. Okay. Doesn't really do anything amazing for me yet. I suspect it's not that good. It's alright. Promising Dusk Mage. I don't have a way to make counters, right? Yeah. So we could take the Dusk Mage, but right now it's just a 3 mana 2 3. Maybe that's good enough. Or old Pledge Mage? Ah. Would have liked that in my red white deck, though. This Dust Mage is a lot worse than Tenured Ink Caster, actually. That surprises me a little. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I kind of still want some cheap cards, but we'll figure it out. Revitalize, gain life, draw a card. That seems kind of great. Well, maybe not. Cling summoning. Maybe just take a two drop. That seems maybe better. I don't know. Mage Hunter is kind of fun, but it's a bit heavy. Well, obviously, four is like fine. It's just like my deck it needs to not die on turn three or whatever. Mage Hunter is rated totally fine. And how's Revitalize? Probably bad, right? Yes, quite bad. Inkling Summoning? Actually rated good? Alright. Better than Mage Hunter, huh? Okay, well that's cool. It's a nice 3-drop I can do something with. It's a sorcery. We have at least one card that cares about that. Stonebinder's Familiar. If you exile cards, put a plus one, plus one on this. Oh. Huh. We don't really do that right now. Opponent might exile my stuff, I guess, but this could just be like a one mana, one, one. Kind of playable. Another shield mage? I don't know about that. I think I might just take Beaming Defiance. Try and keep things alive. I'm sure Shield Mage is a much better, like, pick in isolation than Beaming Defiance. But I, don't, I have kind of, like, a lot of expensive cards right now, and I need to just not die. I could take this, like, one mana, one, one. <clears throat> but I don't think it's ever going to get much better than 1 mana 1 1. I'm not going to be exiling much stuff. So I think I might take the Beaming Defiance. Or the Dusk Mage. It's really bad, but. Yeah, give me, just let me curve out a bit better. Star Pupil. Okay, I mean, it's. It's a 1-1, one, one. it has counters. Sure. Or it's a one mana card, is maybe what I meant to say. Alright, this is our first time seeing pack pick one cycle around, and we got to keep Plum the Forbidden, which I think is you know, it's black green, which at the moment we're not, but we're not heavily devoted to white. I think it's a fair bit better than Beaming Defiance. Well, maybe not. Hmm. It's close enough that I'll take Plum the Forbidden. Keep me open to green. And then it's, like, playable, probably, even without, like, a bunch of tokens. And we, we already have, um, like, Inkling Summoning and Hunt for Specimens, so this could easily hit.
essence infusion put counters on something, I guess I'll take it. We have two creatures, right? Ink Master and Dusk Mage both care about counters. Right? I think that's the only ones. Yeah, you don't care about counters. Uh, oh, I got the... I wheeled the campus. That's great news. That means that there can't be many people. Yeah, Elocution came back as well. I, I seem to be alone in black-white. That's good to know. And we got the 1-1 one, one as well. I don't know if I'll play it, but I'll certainly take it for now. Tempted by the Orique. Amagoth Woe Eater. I'd have to run some green for that. I think it is the best card, though. There's a lot of green black in this pack. Wow. And really, the only white card <coughs> or black card that I could want would be Guiding Voice or Divine Gambit. <clears throat> Unless I were to take the Woe Eater. Or Blood Researcher? It likes counters and it likes gaining life. I don't have that much life gain, but I have a little. I have a lifelink card and I have hunt for specimens. So I guess it wouldn't do that much most of the time. Um, but it is, I believe, quite solid. Yeah. Um, Woe well Eater is better, of course. Oh. Divine Gambit is, like, okay. Bell Satchel for... I don't know. It likes you to run instants and sorceries. I think just Guiding Voice. Turns out I am married to Black White and I'm ignoring signals like a chump. There are any, I don't know. Umbral Juke, I think, is pretty solid. End the pests. Rushing disappointment. Four mana to draw. But I think the juke is okay. Well. Combat Professor was amazing in our, like, red-white deck, but this is not the same deck. It was red-white, wasn't it? I don't remember. Oh, maybe it was black-white. Was... Oh, yeah, that was the black-white deck, I remember now. Um, but we don't have a bunch of flyers this time, and its effect is not that amazing otherwise. I don't think it's right to splash for Ten of the Pests. I don't have that much stuff that cares about having creatures. I have like a, one or two cards. I don't have many big creatures to tend, so yeah. I think it's probably just Umbral Juke. I don't know, Inkling Summoning might be better. Because like, Umbral Juke only works if they have like one creature I really care about. If they have like that and some garbage, then this is just like makes a 2-1. It makes an inkling for 3. I guess this also makes an inkling for 3. But this has the option to do more? Oh, but this is a lesson. Oh, did I? There we go. <laughs> I was running a lesson again and like an idiot. So the advantage of this is that it's a lesson. You don't have to run it in your deck. Whereas this, the advantage is that in you can, instead of using it to make an inkling, you can make them sack something. I guess this is fine. One mana, zero, one. It gets much stronger when you cast or copy an instant or sorcery. Yeah. Essence infusion? 
Right? No, Rise of Extus. Exile something, and something from a graveyard, and learn, but it costs six, which is kind of a lot. I think I'm actually curving out pretty okay for, for now. I maybe don't need to take the Luminate Luminancer. But is it good? It's, it seems like it should be. Oops. Oh, it's actually very bad. Okay, fine. Um, well, it just take environmental sciences or cram session. I think Rise of X might be kind of fun. Yeah, it's a good card. Okay. Two mana, two one that learns or Mage Hunter. I think those are the choices here. I have one lesson right now. I didn't accidentally put any others in the deck, right? How many of my two drop, like my, my cheap things are actually spe uh, like creatures? Three. This is sort of a creature, but it's really weak. So I actually have like three one drops and and that's it for my early curve. So taking a two drop might not be so bad. Mage Hunter is cool, but I'm just gonna double check symbology is actually a great card. Wow, okay. Better than I thought. I thought it was good in this deck, but it turns out it's a good first pick, even. Um, don't want a dueling coast. Well, do I? It likes counters, and I have some some number of cards that make counters. One, two, three, but this probably doesn't ever go off. This is three. Or we run this, I don't know. Five. We have a lot of cards that put counters on things, so this might be worth thinking about. But what is this? What's the Pledge Mage do? Hmm, I don't really need this. It's a three mana three one. The effect is not that important for me, I think. I think the ingredient is just pretty solid. Nope. Well, that's not as a first pick, but maybe in this deck. I mean, I could take another ink caster. I I I don't I don't believe you. I want the I want this guy. It's like a one mana one one, so that you don't die against an aggro deck, and um. can later draw a card so that you don't have to like pay for having drawn it. I think Humiliate is playable. Or the Shield Mage. Hmm. Well, we're going to get this pack back, actually. I don't think I need a lot more top end. I think I'm doing fine on that. I just want to Humiliate. Oh, and I get to put a, <clears throat> I get to put a counter on as well. Nice. Defiant Strike. It's a decent combat trick, actually, I think. Playful Squad, also decent, I believe. I don't think I want much want Go Blank. Yeah, it's rated bad. Fine Strike, also rated fairly bad. Playful Squad, rated okay. So, but, you know, again, we've, we've drafted a lot of cards. We should be picking things based on how they fit in our deck more than on their first picks. Um, <clears throat> I guess I don't, I don't know. This is like a cantrip that you can just kind of throw in whenever. It might be nice to have a cantrip that's cheap. And if it, like, kills an enemy creature and draws a card, it's bonkers. 
Um, if it just draws a card, it's like, whatever, I guess. But Spiteful Squad, like, we like counters, so I guess that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a counters deck. Agonizing Remorse. Two mana. Make opponent discard their favorite card. Besser's Warning may be better. It's a pretty flexible combat trick. Yeah. I've been burned by Professor's Warnings played by my opponent in the past. I'm happy to try to turn the tables there. Well, the only thing we could run would be Divine Gambit. Crushing Disappointment? I guess if in case I want some draw, it could be nice. We got all of these back. I still have very little in the way of, like, Plum the Forbidden targets that I would want to hit. Maybe just, like, one of my one-drops? Yeah, like, the Star Pupil doesn't mind <laughs> being plumbed. Um, likewise, the Unwilling Ingredient. But I do already have one Plum the Forbidden. Whereas Essence Infusion, I mean, I also have one of these, but it just, like, fits better in the deck, I think. I don't know. Bell Satchel? We got the Pledge Mage back. It's not really my favorite card. Detention Vortex? Um, I mean, it is kind of a neat tempo play. To try to um, survive until something bigger and later hits, but I don't think I really have like an overwhelming like my my you know yeah it's great if I hit this and I might if I'm like is this going to turn the tables for me maybe. But more often, I think, it'll just be like, if I'm if the game is close, then I'll be winning. I don't think it's going to take me from losing to winning. So I need to not be in a position where I'm losing. And what does this card do? It... You pay one mana and a card to charge your opponent three mana, right? And this is kind of like, in a way, giving your opponent a card that says... <clears throat> You know, pay two mana, your opponent discards a card. Kind of. I don't know. It's a really a backwards way of thinking about it. I just, like, don't want it. That's my answer. Um, defend the campus is not that great, but it could be okay removal. We got Defiant Strike back anyway. It's this again. Ran that last time. Did I end up taking any other green stuff? I didn't, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a pretty... pretty bad pack. I could just take Environmental Sciences. Maybe, I think Mage Hunter's Onslaught is actually quite good. Yeah, I'll take that. Gift of Estates? Two mana to ramp, I guess. Sort of, but not very well. More Mage Hunter's Onslaught, I think, is the standout here. Another Star Pupil? Okay. Reduced to memory. Do I, did I end up with any learn cards, or did I not take... Do I have Guiding Voice? I think, ah, and Professor of Symbology. Oh, and the Hunt for Specimens. Yes, that's right. I have I have three learn cards already. That's about two more than I end up with in most drafts. Four! I have Rise of Exodus, although it's quite late. And uh, the lessons I have are very few. All right, I basically just have Inkling Summoning. 
So... I think anything with the, that's a lesson is, like, a pretty solid pickup. And this is, like, an exile. Although, it, you know, it gives them back a creature. Like... There definitely could be creatures I would want to do this to. And I have a lot of cutting to do anyway. So it's like, is there going to be a non-lesson card that I could pick up here that would be so good I would want to cut something from my deck to run it? That would be, you know, even more than I would want to add to my lesson sideboard. I'm inclined to think no. But I, I should do some cutting. Curve-wise, I mean... We have a lot of, like, two-mana combat tricky, sort of, or, like, you know, instants and sorceries that do something. I have very few creatures. Well, I don't know. You always have very few creatures in the set. I take out the Beaming Defiance. I just, like, I, I know Divine Gambit is, like, playable. The point is to run it once your opponent's hand is empty, right? Or close to it, I guess. On, like, turn 7 or something, this is an insane card. Um. Yeah, that's true. Hunt for Specimens has not really turned out to be that great. I think neither really has plumb the forbidden. Because, like, I have some one drops I could kill, namely star pupils, but I'm not, like, thrilled to kill them. And I took a different draw card somewhere, right? Crushing Disappointment. Exhilarating Elocution, a little meh, but... I now wish I'd taken the other Ink Caster, rather than, what, what did I take, Inkling Summoning, maybe? Or the Promising Dusk Mage? No, surely not. I don't remember what I took instead of the second one of these. But I have, I have a lot of counter effects now. Could maybe cut the shield mage. I know I'm down to like 23 now, including a land, so I don't necessarily have to cut anything. Um. But I think it's basically either Unwilling Ingredient or one of the lessons that are available. And I think this is a pretty cool lesson. Sort of. You know, giving them a 3-2 is not necessarily great. Um, but it can really resolve some problems. Let's sideboard this. Big black-white flyer here. Or just another silver quill campus. I think we can reasonably expect that to wheel since nobody took it last time. Eye Twitch, I think, is totally playable. We're now above the number of cards we want to run, of course, again, but that's life. We'll figure it out. They're all not very good. Good thing I don't have to see this pack a second time. Um, I don't know. Just in case there's several multicolor bombs remaining, <laughs> I'll take that. This came, the Blood Researcher came back, which is a little surprising. I don't think I want another Guiding Voice, but for now I'll take it and we'll cut it later. Do I need another Professor's Warning? Not really. But I certainly don't want that. I already cut Essence in view. No, I didn't.
I still don't think it's that great though. Probably probably should start cutting them. Okay, elocution. Another ingredient or another learn card. I think I like these unwilling ingredients. More Professor's Warning. I think we'll just sideboard this one straight away. Alright, I don't think this deck is that great. But we have enough, like, low-cost things that we might just kind of win by virtue of curving out when the opponent doesn't. So, did I wind up with a bunch of uh, lessons or a bunch of learns? I forget. I think I have a bunch of learns and not that many lessons. Yeah, I have two lessons. So, like, Guiding Voice might not be that amazing. But I hate this card. I have a learn here, I have a learn here. The two kind of cheap learn cards. I'm not counting Guiding Voice for now. And then this one really expensive learn card. Guiding Voice could be okay then. I probably won't have exhausted my learn pool by the, I don't know. I think this shield mage just like doesn't really like it's a five mana three three flyer. Do I really care about that? Not really what I'm trying to do. Like what do I have that has flying? The eye twitch, the uh, flying lover himself, the laureate. And then eventually the shield mage. And an inkling, I guess. Oh, and Juke makes a flyer, perhaps. I mean, this is just a nice solid three drop that I'm gonna run regardless. I think the Dusk Mage is actually, at this point, quite good. We have a lot of ways to put counters on things. We can rely on him to have a counter most of the time. And Elocution... <laughs> I have a fair number of one drops, right? And so it might be like an okay finisher sometimes. I think I have too many Professor's Warnings, actually. Let's cut one of those in one Guiding Voice. Oh, I didn't have to do that. The Guiding Voice back then. I had already cut one, I guess. Oh, I was cutting... I tried to cut one of each, but it cut both of each. I see. I guess in principle I should figure out which of those is worse and cut both of them, but I don't think that's actually right. <laughs> I think I want like a little bit of each just to increase my flexibility and also like the more guiding voices you have, the worse they get because you run out of lessons. All right, I'll try this. Um, I don't think it's very good, but I don't think it's going to go 0-3. Right, who's up first? Wiseman. I have a one, a two, 
my giant creature. I only have two lands, but actually I have two ones. Why is this one over here? Don't they usually come sorted by cost? I don't know. Oh, I'm so happy to draw another land. For the foreseeable future, I may be happy to draw more lands. <laughs> It would be nice to have picked up, um... <clears throat> the geoscience or whatever it's called, environmental sciences. That would be a nice lesson I'm grabbing right now. But I'll take a three drop. It's actually probably even better than environmental science at the moment. Red Blue is going to have some flyers to contest the Inkling, but at least I have an Inkling to contest their flyers. What are you? Discard, card, then draw. Wow. Do two damage to something. That one? That's really weird. Why would you do that? I got to move the counters away, right? I could swing with this, I guess, but I don't think I will. I don't want to trade like a 3-2 for their defender that's 3-3, I think. And having a creature with a counter that's alive can be useful. Hmm. So I don't have any need to have four mana, so this is the perfect time to play the campus. For five, am I playing the ink caster? Ooh, okay. This is an exciting turn. Or the shield mage, I'm not sure. Oh, wow. They're really desperate for cards, huh? Well, I guess actually, you don't have to... You don't have to... Wait. Do you have to not pay its mana cost, or...? And you get to copy it, so they, they didn't have to pay to discard the second time. That's really cool. Okay, fine. I, yeah. Ugh. I think actually having a flyer with ward is going to annoy them a lot. And Rise of Exodus is kind of perfect for this Pledge Mage. Yeah, go ahead. You can attack me for five again. I don't know. Maybe I should be trying to chump this 1-1. One, one. But I'm hoping instead to just exile their thing and not have to worry about it. Maybe that's too optimistic. I could give this <clears throat> a 
counter and then attack with it. And hold the 2-1 back to block their 3-1. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. They're going to have trouble killing the 4-4 four four anyway. Just all I ask is a land. Oh, okay. I also asked them not to have any insane spells, if that's all right. Ooh. They kind of have too many creatures right now. to get rid of the 6-6 six, six first. I don't think they're likely to have any graveyard manipulation, but just in case. See, they can now. I don't know. I'm like threatening to kill them next turn, right? They don't do something about it? So I can kind of afford to chump a bit. They even know I have this in my hand. But they, I think, should have chumped the 3 1 last turn to stop me from removing it. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm actually doing fine here. On the other hand, they they do have, like, whatever their favorite card is in hand. Oh, no. That can't be it. Oh, no. <clears throat> this, this looks great for me. You just got to tutor for your favorite card, and what you picked was like, oh, I'll just have another card. I need to block this. But just in case they can somehow kill this thing off. No, they can't. It's got Lord. I don't know. Maybe they can play another creature. I could just block here. No, I'm gonna let it in. Because this is a, another possible win condition. If I can attack with both of these, like let's say only this one gets in, then this still threatens to kill him. No blocks. Okay, you countered it too soon. You were supposed to wait for me to pay the two mana and then do it. I'm going to decline to pay the two mana on this if that's alright. some other card a second ago that was a, another oh this here it is I just yeah I can cast it this 
This gets in for at least three, and then this kills them. If opponent had handled the ward correctly, I would have been in a little bit of trouble. Maybe. I might have been at risk of taking too much damage from the 4-4s. Four okay, well, we squeezed out a win there. Close game, I think. Both both decks did reasonably well. None of the, neither of them was insane. I had to spend a 6-mana... Spell removing their 3-drop, but it's just such an insane 3-drop. Oh, uh, this is great. I have a 1-cost, I have a 2, and yeah. The Divine Gambit isn't going to be good for a little while, but... Okay. Hmm. It'll also help me know whether, like, Divine Gambit is playable, although I assume the answer will be no. Yeah, we just humiliate them right now. Oh, no pledge mages, please. Mage duel is something, but... This is an incredible unwilling ingredient. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I could take Reduce to Memory for something, but I think I'd just rather have another creature. You're on the Vortex Runner now, right? Is it insane to Divine Gambit that? I think it might be. But like, I don't know, how could, I, could these permanents be? I guess this also lets them play a land, if nothing else. Really? Okay. That's actually pretty cool for you. I guess I should have known that could happen. I always forget Mage Jewel gives it a buff as well. Hmm. Just putting two counters on this seems like it's going to annoy them a lot, huh? I'd rather put it on a flyer, I think. Squad is a pretty good pickup, I think. Now elocution is starting to look pretty solid. And so, by the way, is Divine Gambit. Opponent's hand is emptying out. It's not yet empty of permanence, but soon. 
Why that one? Not the Symmetry Sage? I guess if you're not planning to attack, it doesn't matter. Why wouldn't you be? Seems like a weird play. Hmm. I'm just gonna put more creatures out. Something to block the 2 3 with as well. This is 7 attack. 11. 13 with the elocution. Pretty threatening, I think. I don't want to attack with this as a 1 1. We have a 3 3 out. Still, I think it's kind of the only play I really have. Well is to play this. I don't necessarily have to swing with everything. No blocks. Double blocking? Okay, that's fine, I guess. Not gonna have eight or more lands anytime soon, so let's kill the 3-3. Three, three. Also, they have cards that buff fractals, presumably. Shouldn't have played the land. Should have waited and drawn this and then played it instead. I'd have one more mana next turn. They seem to have a pretty good board still. I sort of imagined that play would do more than it has. Okay, they still can't attack with this this turn. Knock it off! I don't have two black. Oh man, that would have made... <laughs> that's another reason this would be better. Alright. Give me a card, then. If they have an instant or sorcery, I'm dead. So I guess I should assume they don't. Well, that's not true. If they have an instant or sorcery, I can play Divine Gambit now to live. If they have a permanent, I mean, that's a problem, but... No permanence. This is an instant or sorcery. Which means they can attack for four in the air. 
and two on the ground, so I need to stay... I need to keep something back, actually. At least one thing. But keeping two things back is kind of silly. Okay, so I guess we attack, we get in the one damage. But messing up my land order really did hurt, because if I had played this instead... Well, actually... Yeah, because then I could have played this last turn, and then this turn, Divine Gambit and Mage Hunter's Onslaught. I think it still wouldn't really have been enough. Because I'm, I'm dead next turn, unless I draw some answer somehow. Yeah. And I didn't. So I can exile one of their fly- well, okay. I can exile a flyer... now. Play a star pupil. And now if they don't have an instant or sorcery, I'm not dead next turn. I'm still in trouble, but I'm not dead. The moment they top deck an instant or sorcery, I do die, and I also might die before that. So do I take out their flyer? I think I do, right? Because their 5-5 five five is threatening, but I have a death touch that's kind of combating it. Yeah, I mean, this, this is just, it could be killing me any second now, so see ya. And I don't see any need to attack. Just, yes, if they block, they lose life, but I'm only getting in three damage if I attack with everything and then I die, so. I think opponents should be attacking with everything at some point, but they haven't. Yeah, attacking with everything is definitely good right now. Cause I can I can kill your five five, but I have to chump both of the two two powered creatures. Yeah. I Hey, I mean I was gonna have to chump block this anyway. He would just attack with more things. Oh, I have Scry. I forgot about that. Oh my god, I accidentally passed through blockers somehow? No, undo. <laughs> Alright. I thought I had passed two blockers, not passed through blockers. Oops. I don't know how that happened. Was it unblockable somehow? Maybe that was what happened and I didn't notice. I, mean, I, I More likely, I just... Well, I certainly wasn't paying attention to something. Uh, because I meant to block and I didn't. And I don't know whether it's because I couldn't or because I forgot to. But I either missed the thing that made it impossible for me to block or I missed my chance to block. It would be nice to know which of those it was. But the good news is this is being recorded in case you're not aware. Okay, I have a two, a three, and some decent other stuff. Oh, I have no light? Okay, maybe I don't keep this. Alright, 
this is pretty solid, I think. I'm gonna dump the five drop. I have a one, three, four, and I want all my lands. Perfect, I don't have a two drop, so this is the best time to have that land. If I could have picked a card in my deck to draw, it wouldn't have been this, but if I could have picked a land, it, it would be. Oh my god. Alright, so you have like a lot of land and stuff, that's cool for you. We're just gonna try and kill them before that happens, I guess. Or maybe do something else cool? <laughs> Pretty vague, but... You gonna get mage duels? Not yet, okay. I'm perfectly happy to just trade my professor's warning for that card. No, cancel. I could have played this instead. Maybe I should have. Maybe I play this and then next turn I can play professor's warning plus whatever I draw. That might have been better. Hold this card back. Yeah. so much better. Well, I wouldn't have played the Professor's Warning. I just... Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is a pretty good elocution. I'm happy with it. We're threatening a lot of damage. An opponent is just kind of dirtling their way up to more mana, I guess. attacking with you. I might. Alright, whatever. But I'm putting the counters here. I will attack with everything, yeah. If they want to double block my 3-3, three, three, that's fine. It has Death Touch. It'll kill both things. opponent might be on the precipice of stabilizing. We'll see. Maybe the eye twitch will be good enough to get through. Actually, you know what? Since I knew they had practical summoning, I probably should have put the counters on the eye twitch. But then I couldn't have attacked with you. I don't know. Oh, that's a great pickup. Definitely the Inklings, right? Yeah. Sure, 
let's let them trade something for my 2-2 two -two if they want. All their stuff is pretty good. And I get to move the counters. I guess I should have taken the exile if I'd known how this was going to go. Okay, that's that's desperation. Love to see it. Why is this still here? Oh, because they haven't put a land on the battlefield yet. I will take the other one. Yeah, now I understand the UI for this. Your hand would be a discard, your sideboard would be... This is not useful right now, but it could get me lethal next turn if they make enough flyers. I could exile the 3-3, three, three, but they just make another 3-drop, and or another they get a 3-2 in response. Or in, so, we just go like this. If they double block to kill my 4-5, I'm still perfectly happy. Even though I only get to kill one of their things, I also get to draw a card. Actually, I'm gonna... kill the 2-2. Two -two. No, they only get to pick lands. The rest, they miss. And they don't want lands, so kill the 3-3. Three -three. Well done. Hmm. These might just be the best two cards I could have. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them both. They weren't the best two cards I could have had, actually. If I had, if I had known, discarding my removal would have led me to a way better removal, I would have done so, I guess. But as it turns out, I drew the way better removal anyway, so not punished. any early plays. I need to draw a swamp to do anything. I don't think I can keep this. This is great. Probably dump the... Juke? Or the five drop? I don't know which. the aggro stuff. I'll put down the 1-1 one, one Menace first. Uh, 
Now I almost wish I'd kept the five drop, but I think the three is still pretty cool. Blech. Do I really just juke for an inkling? I guess. I don't know. No, I'm gonna play the star pupil and juke for whatever they uh, play first. They're blue anyway, they might be countering it. I don't think they want to reject this. It is like a pretty mediocre creature. Blue green. Raw and ramp. Okay. They mostly have blue, it would seem. Remember, I do have this, but I can't use it yet. This is like the dream scenario for Juke, right? They've been waiting for ages to play a creature. Before they can draw another land, which might let them test of wills or whatever it is, let's remove this. Okay, this is a good pickup. Um, let's play a black so that I have a white available. Really? Okay, that's a little scary. Quandrix pl 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 Pledge Mages are terrifying. I've lost so many games to just, like, that card all by itself. And it's not like I could have juked this if I'd held it right. They would just attack the other creature instead. Okay. Pretty cool. I guess. I'm drawing a little too much land. That won't be a problem for that. I won't draw that land. All I could really ask for. I think we have to attack with just you. So I attack with you, they block with the 2 2. And if I attack with you, they let it through, but then they can swing with the Pledge Mage, which I don't want. This card is here to deter the Pledge Mage from attacking. And this card is a problem. But I got him down to 10 before problems started happening. Ha! Huh. Only one! Because this buffed itself, you idiot. I don't know. I assume this is what they drew, because otherwise they would have played it first. Not idiot, I probably would have made that mistake too. But, uh... Oh, this is great! Try first, though. This this contests the 3 1. Actually, Whirlwind Denial to counter my Scry? What? Okay, have fun.
<laughs> really don't want me drawing. be allowed to attack with that so that I can hold the eye twitch for the 3-1. This game is going badly for me now, I think. Opponent has had time to stabilize and they're... God, are you kidding me? I keep trying not to. Whirlwind, deny me again, I dare you. Right, this is pretty cool, isn't it? I guess I would put them on the eye twitch? No, that creature's about to die. I mean, I want it, obviously, it's not a land. Not sure what I'm gonna do. Put it on the star pupil, I guess. I'm just not sure even when this is worth playing. What's the point? If they play another land creature, it would help me contest that, I guess? No, that looked bad. Oh, it just puts it back in my hand? That's fine. Oh, but you get a 3-4. Okay. As I said, it does look like I'm losing here. I still have outs. Although, I'm not sure my... Planeswalker is even one of them. And, eh, it would be okay. It would probably be good. The amount of mana that I have is 9. So I can play 4... As long as I play this planes first, I can actually scry and play my whole hand. I don't know if I even want to play this, really. I guess I do. It helps contest the thing they're going to play next turn. Great. Really great. I'm actually going to have to let them in for four again. Or one. Yeah. Oh no, reject! Ooh. Oh, but I can actually pay. Questionable play from them. Shouldn't you wait until I'm tapped out? Maybe their idea is that I'm never going to be tapped out again with all this land. and Like, yeah, they stopped me from playing this this turn, but that's not that big a deal compared to getting down a flyer. Maybe they just wanted to get, like... A spell played, so they're 6-6. Six, six. While their 5-5 five, five becomes a 6-6. Six, six. I don't know. I have 10 mana. That's certainly enough to play these, but it's not enough to also scry. I think scrying is a higher priority. I want to not draw lands. Star pupil? It's not a land, but it doesn't do anything right now. I want to draw, like, a big card. They're going to swing for three here, and I'm going to let it in. It's a little sad, but after the elocution, we'll 
freeze this again. Because I can threaten to block with these two then. Ooh, or I could put the counters on you, actually. And threaten to block the 3-1 without even dying. That might be better. I'm surprised they haven't had a chance to draw a card off of this yet, by the way. Have they really been tapping out every turn? Ah, they wanted the mana, I see. Well, that's gonna be the end of the game for me. Wait, where did Blue Sun Zenith go? Not in their graveyard and it's not in exile? Had they not finished resolving it? What? What does that card's text say? Blue Sun Zenith. Shuffle it back into your library? Are you insane? That card is b bananas. Alright, they didn't actually attack. So I have to kill them in a big damn hurry. Let's scry. Great pickup. I was thinking attack with the 1-1 one, one and see what they block with. I think that's still good. should have gotten in a little more damage. I don't know. They probably have whatever they need in hand to deal with me. It is a problem. They have a thousand creatures. See how great that's going to be. Yeah, let's just wait. Am I attacking with my 1 1? I guess so. They don't want to let me learn, so they're going to let it in. And they don't care that much about their life total. Send it all in. Where 
pretty pretty funny board. Who knew you could draft uh, so many waterfall aerialists, huh? <laughs> Very funny. What are we at? Two and two? Don't tell me it's one and two. I haven't been playing that slowly, have I? Yeah, two and two. All right. Well, I mean, that was not an embarrassing match. I don't have any cheap plays. I do have a good mana base, several good cards, and like four mana draw. I think I'm gonna just keep this. I hate it. But... Hopefully this is a really slow game. And if so, I've got a great hand for that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, if I mulligan down to six, I could easily hit a worse hand than this. And there's a lot of cheap stuff in my deck that I might draw that would make this hand actually quite fine. Opponent's still mulling their mulligan. I am connected to the internet. Did the opponent forget they're in queue? I think once in my life I have actually taken a long time over a mulligan decision and seen the clock show up and then been like, this is not what I should be doing with my time. I'm not a good enough player to make a decision this complicated. Well, that's one way this hand could be playable, is if the opponent isn't here. I would stand a pretty good shot if my opponent gets auto-kicked. That would be, like, how this deck wins. They're still roping. I think if they time out here, I just get the win, right? Two turns in a row of roping? Assuming the mulligan counts. Yeah, okay. Well, easy win. So this is now officially at least an average deck. How do you like that? That's really all I'm asking for is an average deck. I really, you know, only, only two of these wins count though.
Well, it's a good thing that happened on that game, huh? Because I, I did have a pretty bad opening hand. Um... God, I keep drawing, like, bad colors. What is going on? I don't know, maybe it's payback for some of my previous drafts where I got, like, great mulligans every time. This is, this is not playable. I don't have anything till 5 anyway. I'm not going to play Divine Gambit. This isn't a creature. This is pretty cool. Nothing till 4, by the way. But at least I have a good land base and a good 4 and a good 5. Seems like a losing hand, but you, know, you can't always get a winning hand. you got to take the best you can. Red and something. Wow. Red and multicolor, I guess. They're just running every color. Hey, it's a four drop, isn't it? Sort of. Oh wait, no, I have an actual four drop. I can't block with this because I want to wait until I have a five drop. No, rude, okay. Playing red white, they haven't managed to be that aggressive. But that's something. If I played elocution here, I'd have a 5 5. I could attack and this effect would go off, but that doesn't really matter. I could describe, but I want more cards. That is a pickup and a half. It doesn't have anything aggressive enough to deal with it yet. No big creatures. No large number of creatures. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty good for you. Can I afford to display this? Yes. Play it and use the minus ability. That's disgusting. Uh, although, only each opponent, yeah. This just ices their 5-4. That's Professor Honest to you. Mm, sorry, you don't make the grade. Even if they play a card to kill this. Uh oh. You're just running that? Really? They haven't. Oh, no, they did learn. Okay. I forgot. I suppose I should have known that was in their hand, but I didn't. Okay, so give me the, the plus one, please. They're all pretty good. I have eight mana right now. I want to play these both, and also a one drop. And I guess Star Pupil is better because of counters, and I don't need the flying. Let's go oh, you know what? I should have played this first. Make them sack a creature? Actually, do I even want to sack a creature or should I just make a 2-1 flyer? A 2-1 flyer kind of trades for this anyway, and that's what they would be trading. Alternatively, I have enough mana to play Elocution and put counters on my Dusk Mage. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. 
no attacks. What the hell are you? Spirits get plus one plus one and have trample and haste. Okay, they really want to kill this, which is very reasonable. Sure. Why did I double block and let them kill this? I guess I just... I'm dumb? What is this? How did this come back? Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, exile it. Make a copy, but it's also a spirit. Wow. Okay, please get rid of something. Actually, if they sack the 2-6, they just get another one of these. When this creature leaves the battlefield, return the exiled card? That's disgusting. Alright, give me another card. Okay, Divine Gambit is great, actually. Come on, there's gotta be something useful. Ugh. And do I juke something now, or...? Does, does the... Okay, so... This will actually... When this creature leaves, return the exiled card. Yeah, so... They will get this 2-1 back. I don't think making them sack something is very good right now. Just draw me. Could have done that sooner. Okay. Okay, this, this has turned the tide in an, in an immense way. Historians in their graveyard. Oh, actually, Juke just kills them, huh? Walkers are pretty good. I'm lucky that I was able to like get it down. It was pretty close to being in a position bad enough that I couldn't play the Planeswalker. But the fact that it itself kills their biggest creature was <laughs> pretty good. This is fine. I have a one drop and a three drop, and I can... Oh, no, this is a two drop, apparently. All right, I'll still take it. My hand is mostly black, so this should be okay. Black and probably green?
Yeah, okay. Get the I I don't know about that attack. They surely have some things that want you to gain life. Oh, this is another creature, huh? Three drop. Uh, but I want a two three more than that right now. It threatens to block the two two. No attacks. This, yeah, this hand has turned out quite well. I missed a turn one play, but other than that, I've used up five of my six mana. And I'm planning to use up another four. So we're curving out pretty well. What did you do? You killed my Dusk Mage. Oh, good for you. Uh, I... I guess I'll trade for this. They must have buffed it as well. Oh, it's temporarily buffed. So it is just a... It is just a 2-2. Two -two. I think I'm gonna save the two counters on this. No blocks. Okay, that's a good reason to play my flyer, I guess. I'll get in over the top once. Is it a good reason to play my flyer? They're gonna want... I don't know. They can trade two of their life for two of my life, which is not something I want to happen, but isn't the end of the world. Maybe I should just kill this first, so they don't get in for that? Then they threaten to attack with this stuff, though. They didn't last turn, which is a little bit weird. I guess because I threatened to move counters around and get a 4-4. I hate spending this on a 2-1. I'm hopeful they might buff it, but I don't think that's very realistic. I don't want to just scry. I'm going to play this. I don't have a good reason why. You know, maybe I should be attacking with the Star Pupil, because as soon as I put counters on... Yeah, 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 yeah. But they would, just, they would just let it in. So, I don't know how great that is. I need to hold it back so that I can lose it on defense if they try to attack. But I, I predict they'll attack with the, the Poet. That's it. No. Hmm, okay. The block with the death touch then, right? Wow, could have blocked with the non-death touch. That's a surprise. I thought they would have some combat trick for sure. Okay, well now I don't need to use these on anything that they currently have. Just scry. And save these for whatever big threats they put down. I think this game is actually going very well. I'm way down on life, but I'm, I have a hand full of answers and a board that asks an important question.
So this, this gains me one life, but it means they can get through with their creature, so it's even on that count. But it does one damage to them, so that, that's why I think this attack is right. I can't block, so I won't. But their hand is empty, and I have removal for the one threat they have on the board. Oh. I could just play the eye twitch. And then they no longer have that threat, and I get to save big removable spells for something more serious. Scry, so I won't. I have four, but you have to tap it to land itself. I'm gonna have to go after this. This game has this run has gone longer than I expected, and I'm gonna be late for work. Uh, so if I lose, great. If I win, even better, but we're gonna have to put up. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I hate editing. Yuck. Alright, let's try to lose this game then. But I don't think I can. I think I'm too far ahead. Uh, I don't think playing this matters. I think I'd rather just cry. And attack with the 2-2? Two -two? That's not going to do anything. They're just playing their hand as soon as they draw it, probably. I don't know. I mean, it's it's okay. At some point, they'll draw an instant or combat trick, and I'll be like, and they'll want to hang on to it, and I'll be like, no, that's fine. And I attack with the 2-2 here. But not the 3-3, three because three, I don't want them to double block and kill it. And not the 1-1, one because one, I want it as a blocker. The 2-2, they'll just run into the arch, but I get this trigger, so... This ink caster has been pretty great, this game. And he helped a lot in that other... I think, was it the first game that we won? The one where they were down to five and I exiled their thing with Lord, but they screwed it up. Okay, more scries. I'm, they're staying neutral on life because this effect is canceling with this effect, but I'm gaining a life every turn, which I'm very happy with. Humiliate is going to probably take a long time to show any value, but I'm still happy to keep it. Oh no, they're scrying! Alright, well good news, it means they're going to make Humiliate good sooner. <laughs> Alright, having drawn a land, I'm happy to play it. Scry leaving black available, right? Yes, that's what you're gonna do, very good. Fantastic. I thought they were blocking with the 2-1 for a second. That would have been quite a surprise. No? This one. Hmm, 
Pretty cool card, don't you think? Not today, though. I believe I do attack with the ingredient as well. They would have to double block, which means I could kill their 2-1 and start getting more damage in. You want to trade ingredients? I see. Oh, really? Yes. Well, it's quite fortunate this is the turn they chose to start blocking, huh? Surprise. That's not in their hand. Okay, I guess they just wanted a chance to get the ingredient to go, to go off. They could draw something. with me. This is a sorcery, so I can't I can't use it on Wait. Oh, they were stop they they stopped in their draw step for some reason? That's surprising. Inclined to play this, but I don't think it's really necessary. Let's just. Hmm. I have seven mana. I could play this and still the elocution if I wanted, but I can't scry and then do something. Like this is value that I'm getting every turn. And this is some. These are all things I can get whenever I want. Like, do I need to do something to the board right now? Answer no, right? I'm just gonna scry. There you go. Now I don't draw that plane whenever I finally activate this guy. I don't want to trade this, clearly. Oh, that's true. I could be scrying at the end of your turn instead of on my turn. Okay, that would be better. But since all my stuff is sorceries, it turns out it doesn't really matter. Whoa. They're finally giving up on that. Okay, cool. You're sick of my 3-3? I thought it would be this one you were sick of, but okay. You hate flyers, got it. Okay, I have several good cards. What do you want to get rid of? The removal, probably, right? Yeah. Now I have seven men. Still not enough. Oh no, I have I have eight mana. I could scry and still draw if I wanted. Seems good. But this can wait. So now they know that they're humiliate that, that I have humiliate. It's kind of a problem. They're gonna stop. I think they should a while ago stop just playing all the lands they drew. Oh, 
Oh, again, I could have... Mm, I could have just waited on the scry and on this. I don't know why I didn't. We're gonna try to put up a tempting humiliate target. Okay, well... We'll see. How many cards have I scryed? Just three, so most of this deck I still don't know anything about. Nice draw. But it does mean Humiliate will probably be able to hit something. It's cool. a little scary. I think finally we're not scrying. I'm gonna play the Owlkin. Owlin. I'm gonna put a counter on it. What can I learn? I can make a flyer. And there's one other lesson somewhere. Isn't there? Oh yes, reduced to memory. Is that good? Not really. I'm just going to humiliate them. I hope this isn't a land. Good. Obviously. Putting a counter on my menace thing and then attacking with it is kind of an idea. Yeah, with elocution that's actually good. Six, eight mana. So playing one and four still leaves me five to scry with, but I don't have to do it now. Actually, I maybe could have just killed them. By Putting all the counters on the flyer? I guess not quite. Maybe I should have played the Inkling and then put the counters on it? I don't know. Actually, this still kills them. Alright. I forgot about the triggers. Well, that was a grind of a game. But all that removal served me quite well. And the Humiliate turned out to be okay eventually. But it was a really chancy that it even did as well as it did. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to take a break. Um, I'll see you for the last two games, but I guess I'll edit this all together into one. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I should put a break after, like, here. We'll see. Anyway, be right back. Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic the Gathering. We were in the middle of a quick draft Strixhaven when I was so rudely interrupted. But, uh... Presumably, I had stitched together those two videos so seamlessly that you'll be saying, Why is this guy making such a big deal about him going away for a minute? I didn't even notice. Ha ha. So we're at 5 and 2, right? That was what it said back there? And I reviewed the deck briefly before starting the video. So I vaguely recall what's going on. We have, like, you know, some low-cost creatures, some counters. We have a lot of counters. We like plus one, plus one counters. Hopefully we have an opponent. Yes, waiting for opponent. 
I think it switches to waiting for opponent when, like, you found an opponent. You're not waiting to find one. You're waiting for the opponent you have found to prepare for the match somehow. Like, presumably for them it also says waiting for opponent. They're waiting for you and, like, to connect up somehow. I'm going to play the Menace one first. Just because if they play, like, someone one, it would be nice to be able to attack through it. And also I don't want this to die without something to put counters on. Ooh. I think I'd be happy to humiliate them here rather than develop a 1-1. One -one. I could play this first. And next turn play Humiliate, but if I draw like a 2-drop that'll look bad. Plus what if they have some cool card? Let's just get rid of whatever they... Yeah, whatever you have I don't want. Oh no, I should have I should have waited and put it on this I think actually. Right, this comes with a counter as well. Um... Hmm, negate? I don't think I want to do that. I do have two pretty strong things, but I think I'd rather just like get rid of the thing they would use to get a creature. Like take away their serpentine curve, maybe? Yeah, that seems okay. Or no, they won't have that many instants and sorceries. Well, they'll have some. This is like a 4-mana 2-2, actually. Let's get rid of their draw. We're just going to need to be aware that, um... Hmm, I can only play one of these, huh? That they're holding up in the gate. But that's non-creature spells. So I have two powerful non-creature spells and one weak one. It would be nice if they negated Guiding Voice, but I assume they won't. This is just such an obvious bait when I can see the negate in their hand. But they're gonna do it, okay. Well, these should get great value now. Now it's a four mana 3 3. I would have liked to put more counters on and then attack, but then they could actually block... Well, that would have been better, actually. Just they block, the counters would go here, and that would have been okay. Mm. It is tempting to play Elocution, but it'll be even better next turn. Better the turn after? Alright, what, what happens if I play this? Do I put the counters here and then swing with a 3-3? No. Do I put them here and swing with a 4-4 Menace? Not really. Do I put them here and swing with a 4-5 that draws a card? It's okay. But I'd rather just get down a big creature, I think. I'm very happy to see a shitty creature come down. Well, hang on to that, I guess, just so they don't know if I have a card that's re meaningful. So I think just elocuting the flyer is good enough.
this gets in for five. They want to block this, but if they do, they have to double block. This I'm basically just throwing away in order to put counters here. Is that good? I don't think so. It's only one counter. Yeah, forget that. I mean, it would be nice, but... And attacking with this, if they're double blocking this guy, do they have a block for this? The only way to kill it is here, right? But then this... I guess that's how they would want to block anyway. Okay. Go like this, then. Really? Not the 2-3? Maybe they're worried about me having some removal. Oh, or maybe they have one. They have a spell that can buff this. I didn't think of that. Actually, if I just swung with everything, they could have only blocked two creatures, and I'd be getting in for at least seven. Could have actually swung with everything there. Better than doing that, probably. I even knew they had this in hand. What an idiot. Okay. Okay, they're digging. That's good news. No blocks? I don't... Well, yeah, they can't... Oh, they can't ever target this with anything because the ward will kill them. Very funny. Okay, we're up to six and two. Sure would be nice. Get a 7 win. Second one in recent memory if we get there. I had a small number of 7 wins, you know, back when I last was doing magic videos a year and a bit ago. Maybe it was two years, I don't know. Whenever it was. Can't have been two years. It was in 2020. Right? Yeah. Nikukai. Interesting name. Kind of, in some ways, a dreadful hand. But it does have a good mana curve, and at least there's a two mana play. I mean, it doesn't have a good mana curve. It has, it has the right colors. And, uh, you know, it has something to do on turn two, and then hopefully we can draw some cheap creatures? I don't know. This is not a hand I'm thrilled to keep, but I think it would be worse to mulligan it. Oh. I'm wasting the counter if I just humiliate them. Is that worth it? I think the counter is a really big part of this card, but... Just stopping them from playing whatever they're gonna play is maybe better? Yeah. They're red-blue, but also green. I 
I guess just get rid of this. Is there a ramp card? Very funny. Any minute now, we're gonna do something. I'm glad they haven't had a 1-2 this whole time, though. Well, I don't care so much about the 1-2 as about the, the ramp and eventual draw. We're definitely in very bad shape so far, though. Their hand has actual cards in it. Presumably. We know of at least one. They're just waiting, huh? They must be holding up some really big counterspell or something. Am I looking for a land? I might be. This would be a really nice thing to have. They do have two mana open. But I'm just gonna have to hope that they don't have a counter spell, I think. I need to get something on the board that does something. Maybe I should have exiled their creature instead? I don't know. I don't think so. So basically, Inkling Summoning, or um, there's one other in here somewhere, Reduced to Memory. Inkling Summoning would be nice, I guess. They want to push in some damage. Now that I finally played Guiding Voice, I draw the card that wants counters on it. Fine. But I have another way to get them in, I guess. Well, let's see how bad this Divine Gambit is. Great, okay. I'm gonna let the damage in. have this to deal with. Okay, perfect. I'm just getting a little more mana. It was really nice. Now I can play a flyer and also buff this thing so that they can't get in so easily.
I'm still in, I think, quite bad shape. If nothing else, their arcane subtraction means that I can't actually kill their flyer. But I can block it once, and then I have Rite of Exodus to get rid of it forever. Well, I could just let it in once and then Rite of Exodus it next. Would I pay two life to put this on the board and also give them this card? No. I want to make them spend the card. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're excited to get a chance to spend it because it lets them learn. Yeah, that's a little spooky. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, I think. I don't know how much this really matters. This is lights out. I could remove a thing, but they just have so many things left. Like, and the best I could do would be like turn this into a three-two, which sucks, or this into a three-two, which is not nothing. But there we go. We conceded before they got the three-two, so it's a moral victory. So, 6-1. Great result. 6. Did I say earlier we were 6-1? and one? I know I said it just now, but the, uh, earlier we were definitely 6-2, and two, not 6-1. and one. So, 6 wins. A, a solid result. I gotta remember, I don't need to hit, like, finish playing. That That's a better screen to end on than this one is. Oh well. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.